I could tell you that the eye box on the new Vortex Razor Gen 3 1 to 10 is as big, or in some cases bigger, than the previous Razer Gen 2 1 to 6, but you wouldn't believe me. You'd be like, he shoots for Vortex. Of course he's gonna say that. How about this? We'll head to the bench and I'll show you what I mean. All right, so here was the setup. I squared up a piece of wood with a little bit of an overhang to the edge of the bench. I used the front edge of the bench to place the old soup strainer against, and then I jammed my cheek up against the side of this board, giving me a couple thick surfaces to make sure my cheek weld didn't change as I was trying to sight through the optic. Put the optic against this straight edge, and looking through the field of view and node making a tick mark on the paper down here, when it would start to shadow, I would move it forward and backward, and then I would mark the near and the far points where the field of view started to shadow. I then repeated that at both 10x and 1x and remarked it at both times. Did the same thing for the Gen 2 1 to 6 and compared them and here were the results. You can see the eye relief threshold at minimum magnification of 1x for both of these scopes is about the same, just a little over 2 inches, 2.1, 2.3 range, uh, with the 1 to 10 actually being slightly larger. And at max magnification, 6x in the Gen 2 and 10x in the Gen 3, there may be a tenth difference. Now that might be in my subjective measurement as well, but the fact they're even in the same ballpark is incredible. But what about comparing 6x to 6x? In theory, the eye relief threshold on the 1 to 10 should be bigger at 6x than in the Gen 2 at 6x. Let's take another look. After repeating the test again with the Gen 3, but this time at 6x, I did confirm that suspicion that the eye relief was a little bit more forgiving at that magnification than the previous Gen 2. In addition, I also tested again at 8x just to see whether or not there was linearity at the top range of magnification in the new Gen 3 1 to 10, and there was. 8x pretty much split the difference between 6x and 10x. Really a pretty forgiving eye relief here at the top end of this scope. So we've established that the eye relief threshold across the entire magnification range of the new Razer 1 to 10 is quite forgiving. In fact, it's usable at any power in that range. But what about the off-axis tolerance, the up, down, left, right from the center line of the optic? For that, we need to consider the exit pupil, which is the objective lens diameter divided by the magnification. We'll compare that number to a few common rifle scope configurations. Here's a few exit pupil comparisons. The top three blue bars show a 24 millimeter objective lens between 6 and 10x magnification. The two yellow bars show a 50 millimeter objective at 18 and 24x magnification, while the bottom green bar shows a 56 millimeter objective at 27x. You can see the higher power and larger objective lens configurations have an exit pupil between 2 and 3 millimeters. The Gen 3 1 to 10 at 10x comes in right in the middle of that, about 2.4. While it's a little less than the Gen 2 1 to 6 at 4 millimeter exit pupil, it's certainly no slouch. And those precision rifle shooters that like the high power, larger objective lens scopes, they wouldn't use them if a 2 to 3 millimeter exit pupil was unusable. So I'd say that. At 10x, it's certainly usable, and remember that with a first focal plane scope, you do have the option to dial it down if you find yourself in a really wonky position, and that exit pupil and that off-axis tolerance becomes really important in that particular case. While the off-axis tolerance of the new Gen 3 1 to 10 is a little bit tighter than the previous Gen 2 1 to 6, you got to remember you're counterbalancing that with a magnification range from 1 to 10x, and that is huge. If you're concerned about that tolerance, take a look at your gear. Make sure that your buttstock is adjustable for both length of pull, comb, as well as cant if need be. Make sure that your eyeball is centered up behind that rifle scope and none of this will be a problem. Considering that we're comparing two scopes, one with a 1 to 6 magnification range and the other with a 1 to 10 magnification range, the fact that the 1 to 10 at max magnification has the same eye relief threshold are very, very similar to the 1 to 6, I find incredible. And the fact that it's even larger at 1x, it's, it's straight voodoo magic. I don't know how they did it. Anyway, 
The engineers at Vortex really knocked it out of the park with the new Gen 3 1 to 10. Daylight bright illumination, a very forgiving eye box that you're used to in the Gen 2 1 to 6. If you have any concerns about that eye relief threshold at max magnification, I'd say they're unfounded. I'll tell you right now, what I've seen from this thing so far, it is every bit as good of an eye box as what we had on the Gen 2 1 to 6. So give the 1 to 10 a look. You'll like it. Thanks for watching.